please welcome Shona Jensen. Hello, Hi. Ms. Shona. This is fun. This is your season. Oh, this is my season. It's your season. So, yes. we're going to talk about decor, but we're going to do the fresh, the foraged, and the fantastically faux. The yes. The fake, right? Yeah, because yeah. Stuff can look absolutely amazing, and it is not real at all. But let's start with the real stuff that smells really good. Yeah, so real, you know, a lot of people, that's probably the, the want, is the real, right? Right. So, um... The fresh. Now, here's the things about the fresh. This is a more traditional look, so if that suits your style, then this is what would be, you know, where your eyes would be leaning towards. Yeah. If you have like a grand mantle, this is beautiful. Here's the thing with the fresh. They're they're beyond beautiful. This one's actually done by Fiesta Gardens, and what they're very nice, but you're only going to get about two weeks of prime look out of this. Yeah. So if you're a last minute decorator or you don't mind replacing some of your greens, this is for you. They're very hard to water to keep fresh because if you spray them, they could damage the mantle that it's on, the water. So so give this one, this is to fit your lifestyle, okay? okay. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. I, yes. I really do love it. Then there's foraged. So okay. it's a little bit more of that rustic um, granola feeling. You yes. might even, if you're crafty or handy, you might even go into your backyard or when you're on a hike or something and find all these, forage these items yourself and make them into a wreath. This isn't about being perfect, okay? Right. This, one's done, this one is perfect by uh, my luscious backyard. It's gorgeous. But that's the look. This is a good thing to put maybe if you have a mud room or yes. an entrance, a back room, you know, decorate it too. Put together a fun wreath. The kids could get involved in putting together a forged wreath and that rustic look. Very nice. Even if the rest of your house isn't rustic, and you could go there. Did you mix it? So you mixed it. You've got the fresh and the foraged all together. Yes. Like this you one started is... with a wreath with none of these twigs in it. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And then and you just build it for what you find, whatever you foraged, you know? Okay, let's, so talk let's go about to... the fake. Fabulously fake. It's I mean there's something that that word, it just it conjures up terrible things. But there's nothing <laughs> wrong with fake. No. I mean look at my hair. It's great. <laughs> oh please. <laughs> let's not get started with the grocery list on the both of us, okay? <laughs> Um, let's do fake it till you make it, as they say. Yeah. Listen, I love this fake, and all these, as you can see, are all paper crafts. Right. So if you're a renter, if you're just a crafty person, if you want to get the kids involved, yeah. this is a great way to do it. You don't have a mantle, no problem. Make a mantle. There you this go. is all paper, all just cut out of crepe paper, freehand, some oak leaves, and some, um, just what, it doesn't matter. I'm not even going to name the leaves. Yeah. As you want, green crepe paper, a bunch of red dots with the berries. You can embellish it as you wish. Um, and then if you don't have the fireplace, make one. That's very make cute. Make it cute. And just to decorate it with, like, these are all spools of yarn and ribbon, just to kind of ground in your home to give it that. These are all actually from Home Sense, which are so adorable. I love the wooden reels that they're on. It's a great idea. Yeah. And that's chalkboard paint down there? It's not even. It's black um, Bristol board with ch actual oh, chalk. Oh, I like so that. So it really is just easy to go. And you can put this, pop this up anywhere you want. And very just cool. have some fun. Okay, and this as well. This one over here. It's your Christmas one, tree. Same thing. It's your Christmas tree. Yeah. Maybe you're, you don't want a real tree. You don't even want the room to put up a fake tree. Mm -hmm. Make one. Alternative. Think outside the box. You, you, you might want to let your kids That's have cute. it. Yeah, these are just pieces of crepe paper and then sewn with the sewing machine to make the garland. Ah. Oh. And, um, and it just easy, easy. This is just washi tape putting yeah. it up. Again, chalk. Just draw it on to the uh, black paper. It's so easy. Very cute. Yeah. Okay, let's show how you did some so of these let's, uh, Yeah, make projects. a few of them. Okay, so the wreath that's over the paper one, let's yeah. start on this side. It's really super easy. All you okay. need, a ruler, a glue stick, X-Acto knife, a couple of bowls, and you're going to start with the green foam core. You know that's that Bristol board type paper that has the foam in the middle. Just yeah. got it at the dollar store. And all I did was use bowls to trace out my wreath pattern. Mm -hmm. Okay, easy peasy. Draw it with like a, you know, just a pencil. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Cut out the shape itself. And then you wind up with the wreath, right? Yeah. And then with, uh, cut a bunch of strips of green paper, however many you need. Just do a whole bunch. That's really easy, just with an X-Acto knife. Okay. Don't overthink it. It doesn't have to be perfect. These are paper crafts, okay? So and this is the part that gets a little tricky, or maybe it's, not. It's not. You want to know why? You take a green piece of paper. Yeah. Take whatever ruler you have and just bend it in the ruler. Okay. Can you see that? Let me turn it so, so I just that every place. every size is equal. Yeah, so every bend is equal width. Don't measure it. Measuring it takes too long. Right. And all you're doing is bending it to make an accordion. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Then really quickly, you just take your handy glue stick or um, uh, glue gun or double-sided tape. I tried that. It didn't work so great for me. Oh, and that's for this how you're project. putting them on. So they're and little then, flowers. Yeah. All you're doing is sticking them on. Very nice. Yes. And a little tip. While you might need one of these um, clips to hold the paper down. 
while it's drying okay. because it needs to uh, stay down while it's dry. And then you're good to go. And then just cut, freehand cut a bow if you'd like, a little paper bow. And you've got or, your beautiful yeah. paper wreath. You've got your paper wreath just Very to give nice that a Very nice, Shones. All yeah. right, we're going to break now. We've got more coming up. Stay with us. Thank <laughs> you.